today I'm going to show you how to make individual beef wellington. Sounds pretty fancy, huh? I love this for a dinner party. Everyone's always very impressed with it, but my favorite part about it is it's is something you can prepare early in the day and then just put it in the oven when your guests get there. The only thing you're going to have to do then is just check the temperature so that everyone's uh, beef is prepared the way they like it. If I'm doing this for a dinner party, I usually buy an entire tenderloin. I have the butcher trim it for me. Today I'm just going to be making two, so I just bought two fillets at the butcher counter. The half a cup of onions that I chopped well, and I have a half a cup of seasoned dried bread crumbs, and I have some mushrooms. Salt and pepper, one egg separated, and my favorite go-to pastry, Pillsbury Already Pie Crust. If you want, you can make your own pie crust, but this makes this dish so much easier. I'm gonna start, I have two tablespoons of butter on the stove top. I'm gonna to start by cooking my onions down. I have already seasoned my beef with salt and pepper, both sides. While those onions are cooking, I'm gonna take my mushrooms and I'm gonna find two nice small buttons without much of a stem on it and set those aside. This one has a stem, but I like that one, so I'm just gonna trim that stem off of it. I'm gonna set these aside for later. And now I'm gonna finely chop the rest of these mushrooms. Our onions are starting to get transparent, so at this point, I'm going to add a cup of the finely chopped mushrooms and a half a cup of my breadcrumbs. And I'm going to put that back on low heat and let that continue to cook. My mushrooms, onions, and breadcrumbs are cooking over here and I've added another tablespoon and a half of butter for them to cook in. And I'm going to go ahead and open my Pillsbury pie crust. I've spread out a pastry sheet that's lightly floured. I took these out of the um, refrigerator about an hour ago. You want them to start to warm but not all the way to room temperature. And sometimes you have this problem with Pillsbury already pie crust. This one's sticking to itself but we can fix it. There we go. I have my pie crust and I'm going to take a stockinette covered rolling pin and roll the pie crust just a little bit thinner than what it already is. See that little hole in it did not matter at all. Place one of your fillets right in the middle of it then you're going to take your mushroom, onion, and breadcrumb mixture and put it right on top, getting as much as you can on the top of each fillet. If some falls down the side, don't worry. That's the really delicious part. Nobody's going to be upset if they have a little more of that in there. Okay, and then you're going to take one of the mushroom caps that you set aside, place that right on top, and then wrap your filet with the mixture on top, just like a little gift, just like this. And this is when you can take a cookie cutter and cut out a little shape, or you can take um, hand cut out an initial for each person and make them a little bit more decorative. I've had these in the refrigerator. It's now time to prepare them to go into the oven. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and I'm gonna put a nice egg wash over the entire Wellington. I'm gonna put them in the oven, about 20 minutes for medium rare, but you're definitely going to want to use your meat thermometer to double check. All right into the oven they go. After 20 minutes, I've checked the temperature of the beef. Our Wellingtons are ready for me to take out and serve. Beautiful, aren't they? Enjoy. <laughs>